back. Well, at least the Gold Coast dominance up north is. I'll tell you what. G'day, I'm Frio legend Scott Waters. Wait, no, I'm not. My torso's normally length, I guess. I did not think that's where you go. Good work. There you go. Uh, I am your host, James Clements. This is the AFL Today Show, your new favourite one-stop shop for all things AFL footy. Uh, joining me for the, oh, jeez, jeez, round 12 is done. How are we halfway through the season? Sad, isn't it? <laughs> what is going on? Oh. It's chaos. Halfway through. What the hell? Breaks your heart. Anyway, yeah. but local weirdos and full-blown footy nuffs, some would call them AFL experts, are, of course, joining me. Over there is Alex Donnelly wearing yeah. a uh, South Melbourne Bloods jumper. It's yeah. nice. Yeah. Uh, nice and relaxed this weekend, uh, having you know my team not playing. I actually got way too into that Gold Coast Essendon game right there. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, so I felt like I had something on the line. Uh, but, Jim, your favourite team just got beaten. How do you feel? I'm heartbroken because Essendon are very clearly the like best, team, well, best team in the AFL. But this is it. It's like choosing between your two kids. <laughs> You're like, oh, I love Gold Coast and I love Essendon. They were two favourite teams outside of Carlton. So I don't know how my kids feel about that, but that's all right. Uh, either way, joining me as well is the stats boy, Liam McCallion. Yeah, keep for another show. I'm similar to Alex. I've said this all week. North didn't play, so I've been a happy man all You've weekend. Been so happy. I've been this very week. happy just watching the footy and not having to be angry. It's great. <laughs> it's, been, it's been awesome because only I am the real winner this weekend. Yeah. yeah. Apart from Alex, whose team didn't play and is still two games clear and on top. Of every the result this weekend has been to the benefit I of know, the Sydney yeah, Swans. It it's actually been has. Awesome. Nice one. Right, well, AFL Today, of course, subscribe across the YouTube channel or your podcast apps. Go check out all the socials as well. Or we'll send stats board to your house and it will be weird. <laughs> right. <laughs> it will be. Quick look from the weekend before we do the weekend letter check. Uh, the quick look. They're holding the ball was mm. the big thing going into this one. It felt like they towed a line that was fine. And everybody yeah. was like, this is okay. This is fine. It's going to be fine. It's weird, but it's fine. It felt I felt like how they used to do it. Like how they used to go, all right, has he taken a player on? Ball. Have, has he had the ball a little bit too long? Ball. Five years ago, I feel like this is what they were doing. And they're like, oh, we need to change it. Just I, change it back to what you used to do. Yeah. I do feel good. like the umpires kind of lost their minds a little bit in the last 15 minutes of the final yeah, game between game, Gold yeah. Coast and Essendon. Yeah. But other than that, I think the only contentious non call weekend was the Nick Dacos one. Yeah. Other than that, I was like, this is fine. It made the game quicken up a little bit, which yeah. is exciting. So I think, yeah. Don't mind it. Uh, we, can, we can touch on that, but I yeah. think I think it's this is going to benefit the teams with the elite uh, kicking skills mm. who can use the footy oh. quickly. Oh, no. Yeah. Hey, at least it's it's not one. <laughs> <laughs> at least Carlton were good this week. I got one win. Uh, outside of this, the simple idea, though, I still think you watch these games, and I watched a lot of football this yeah. week. Oh, really? Uh, no good. overlap, that's why. <laughs> no, exactly, yeah, no it overlap. makes it easy, yes. It's still the uh, the inconsistency around like disposals that still frustrates me more than any of the holding the ball mm. decisions. But Two it did throws. sort of clear it out a little bit, so that's fine. Yep. Uh, also, Fraud Adelaide. Ah, the entire just... state of <laughs> South Australia is apparently a fraud state. City uh, of churches, even though we can't call them. Even their churches are frauds, apparently. <laughs> I don't know. Their entire like being as a footballing uh, state is under question. They're not because, a nation anymore. Well, Port Adelaide <laughs> give up the first South Australian win to the Blues at yeah. Adelaide Oval I ever. I Carlton won once in like 2013. No, not, not, not since the Adelaide Oval has existed. They haven't so. won other than against Freo. Yeah, oh. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, hmm. And then Adelaide came over here and got smashed by yeah. the Hawks. That was a joke. That was bad. <laughs> they yeah. looked horrible. Hey, also, whoa, honey, Reed, he's in trouble. Whoa, honey, Reed. <laughs> Remix. I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's a remix. Oh, no, Huddy Reed. You slammed his head into the ground, Huddy Reed. Anyway, we go. The Rising Star Race is now wide open because Sam Darcy is also... also cool. Why isn't Sam Honorable. Darcy being given an order of Australia? Like Because he took out Maynard. For work to, I think for work should, to Australia. He should get, like, uh, get given weeks in advance. Or never buy What's a beer again. What's the opposite of a war criminal? Because <laughs> it's Sam Cause Darcy. Because Brandon Maynard is... <laughs> <laughs> and Sam Darcy isn't because he took him out. Get him a medal. He'll never have to buy a beer again. Yeah, I love that. Like one of those, <laughs> I don't know, Argentinian Nazi hunters or whatever. <laughs> anyway. Maradona. <Good> stuff. <laughs> Maradona. <laughs> <Sure. Yes. laughs> anyway, uh, the Rising Star race, though, is now open with Harley Reid mm. uh, being offered two weeks, I believe. Yeah. Do already. we find it funny that his tackle was on the bloke who's going to probably win the Rising Star now and Darcy Wilson? Wilson it's possibly kind of could, ironic. Yeah. yeah. It'll be pretty close It's, a, it's Alanis Morissette yeah. ironic where mm. you look at it and go, oh, yeah, I guess. Um, the other one. From Saturday night is Carlton are known for having their soft tissue injuries. Yes. 
Richmond, apparently it's just ACLs getting blown. Five. Left that was gross. Six as well if you count their VFL captain. LaFau, yeah. who I think is having like an underrated team. He's been really I'm good. Who's saying no, it's underrated? Well, I was talking to some mates and they're like, oh, who's not been that good? He's been amazing, LaFau. He's been crushing. And um, yeah, another one for Ty. But Ty's. did you see how he landed? Yeah. And his knee just goes. Oh, <laughs> in just like, yeah, gross. Not Great good. hair. Awesome name. Wicked kick for goal. Mm. Has had heaps of opportunity this year. Definitely not underrated. He's Weapon. been coming out of the square even. And then yeah. it was his ACL. It's brutal. No good. I want to know what, what curse has been put on Adam Uze or what I know. Uh, voodoo that... People put on ACLs at Richmond. I think he's a good gross. coach as well. well he's definitely just... Demi Hardwick on his way out the door. <laughs> yeah, he did some, <laughs> he's, like, oh. did some rain he's, like, he's basically Doctor Strange and uh, <laughs> and bloody Spider Man, right? He's like, oh, we've made a horror. We've tried to like cast a spell to like get Dusty back to like 2019 form Dusty or something, and it's gone completely <laughs> horribly it's ACLs wrong. ACLs everywhere. And it's like everyone's just blowing ACLs, yeah. and Dim is like, oh, we screwed that one. Yeah, uh, Dim, your job, Adam. And Dim is out. <laughs> Dim is out the front of his Gold Coast offices with the sage going, no yeah. juju. <laughs> yeah, you the Dimmer's house in the Gold Coast, it's all surrounded by salt. <laughs> You're like, what's <laughs> happening here? Uh, the other one is like Stats Boy today has been sitting here just like writing down in a piece of, you know, in a little <laughs> notebook, just <laughs> like just his like, best mate Noah Bolton. No, I definitely haven't. That was a bit strange. He's like, must make jokes on show. <laughs> Stop the other boys from picking on me. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely Pick up food for mum and dad on my <laughs> way home. <laughs> Don't put groceries on the company Uber Eats whoa, again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That never happened. That never happened. Nice one. <laughs> hey. Are there other big issues coming out of this week? I feel uh, like people are going to yell about the umpire in this week. I don't I think, think it's been. I think it's been pretty good. There's nothing else really. Every, no matter what. The biggest one is that Melbourne were absolutely yeah. horrible today and got smashed. Oh, my so God. We'll talk yeah. about that in the, yeah. all the uh, we will. game wraps. But... Before we do that, it's time for the ladder check. That's right. On top of your AFL ladder, after 12 rounds, you have the Sydney Swans. <laughs> <laughs> Every <laughs> result possible went I know. Way. 10 and 1. Everyone around, everyone around them lost. <laughs> everyone that was below, everyone that was above this weekend lost to the team below them. Yeah. It was great. Crazy. Uh, well, Geelong won and jumped back up to third. But yeah, they played Richmond. Exactly. 8, 3 and 1 now for the Essendon Bomb Rays. Still yeah. in second with mm -hmm. a horrible percentage of 102.8. That's the other thing about Sydney. They're going to take a lot of tracking down because their percentage is 150.1. Nice. <laughs> Not bad, Swannies. Uh, the Geelong Cats eventually got past the Tigers in the feline fight. <laughs> you didn't say that one, I don't think, on Thursday. No, he said feline. Oh, did you say feline? Yeah, I said feline. Instead of something oh. else. Oh, yes. That's there's, right. There's I, forgot about, I, forgot yeah. I forgot about that one. Uh, Someday we won't. They've got the power to lose because <laughs> that's what they did. Hang on. Oh, Port Adelaide got belted uh, <laughs> by Patrick Cripps in the fourth quarter. Yep. Yes. Great game by Carlton in the end. Uh, it was a back and forth affair. We'll get to that in a second. 8-4 as well for the Blues. Yep. They were in the top four for a second as uh, until Geelong won. Yep. Uh, so they went from, I think, eighth to fourth. Mm -hmm. But now they're fifth. I can't believe so. Port is still fourth. That annoys me. Frio, big percentage boost today. 121.4, yeah. 7-4-1. They got 11% out of today. They Bad. needed that percent, yeah. On no. the bye, the GWS Giants, 7-4. and four, The Gold Coast Suns, 7-5 and five the eight. in eight. Ooh. How, How is good that? is it? We've got this group of teams that are on like eight, seven, and six wins. It's awesome. It's great. Now. Well, everybody from second through to eleven. It's basically split by two yeah. wins. And then you got Hawthorne. But there's a lot of stupid, well, yeah. annoying drools in there as yes, well. But yes. Still, uh, where were we? We're Gold Coast in the eight. Uh, Collingwood in nine. Yep. Ooh, after after a, a shocking loss on Friday. Oh, lots of injuries. Their percentage is pretty weak too at yep. 104. Six, four, and two. Then you have the Melbourne Demons in 10th. What is going on? They deserve to be 10th after that result. That is a joke. They uh, should actually be just deported. You're now the <laughs> Singapore Demons. <laughs> Don't know what to tell you, but Stephen May, you're going to have a lot of problems. Uh, <laughs> the Bulldogs are 6-6 six and six in the most Bulldog way fashion. Hey, Jim, is it halfway through the season? Yes. Are they... Where are the rest of Bulldogs? Midway. 500, yeah. 6-6, <laughs> six and six, baby. The It'd line be of so much funnier if they were 11th at six and, uh, ninth at 6-6, six and six, not 11th. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. They, they at this rate, they, they could probably finish yeah. ninth. <laughs> they do have a really good uh, percentage, though, but that's because they've had a couple of easy smacking, big smashes. Yeah, so. smacking <laughs> West Coast and Richmond has helped their percentage. You have yep. Hawthorne at 5-7 and seven after a big win on the weekend. They you should have, be 6-6. Six and six. They're coming, all, the Hawks. They're coming. If they hadn't just cooked that one against Port Adelaide, oh. you'd be laughing. Yep. Brisbane, 4-6-1 or six and one in 13th. Uh, Adelaide, 4-7-1 and one and Packer Up Boys. Matty Nix is like, hang on. Didn't I just save my job? Ah, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, St Kilda, they still stink, but they won. They're four and eight in fifteenth. West Coast three and nine. It was a tough one losing the J train before that game. And we'll Tim Kelly. And Tim Kelly, two of their best brutal, players. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Tigers, gallant again. Exactly, gallant in defeat because 
They got can, no one. <laughs> can you just show a little bit of gallantry there, Stats Boy? Because you're a horrible, horrible oh, North Melbourne kangaroo. That's all I want, Jim. Kangaroo Clark Roos, 0 and 11. So the master coach has managed to get exactly zero wins this year. Well, Amazing. I'm, and zero, like, nice defense. What was the word that we used the other week? Honorable. Uh, honorable loss. Yeah, I reckon we could have a running whiteboard of, like, race or umpire abuse allegations. <laughs> Clarko, <laughs> one, two, <laughs> and like wins just on the other side. Well, it's like, yeah, it's like Ben Simmons and uh, what, what was it again? The uh, turnovers to points, the same, same sort of vibe. Good deflection. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you literally talk about that on NBA show all the time. But you... this is the AFL Today Show. Oh, yeah, right. Time for Vensesh. Gave me nothing. Not really much of a Vensesh, but it no. is weird and it is kind of like, obviously we are <laughs> getting a light shone on it this week, is the rising star noms with... Harley Reid, whoa, Harley Reid. And so Harley Reid, he's gone and cooked it. The sling tackle was bad. Don't don't give anyone a German suplex on the football field. No, he Sam, could have easily just like put it into the ground. Sam Darcy as well. Uh, rising star. It's not best and fairest. And I think Eddie Betts said it just perfectly. He's like, it's not best and fairest. Why are they not still eligible? It's like, yeah, best and fairest. Why oh, can't they win the rising star? Yeah. You're either the best young rising star this year or you're not. No, every like, there's award. no, there's no <laughs> qualifier. Fairest is the qualifier. You're not, you're not fair if you're getting suspended for doing dumb stuff. Rising star and also the best bloke. That's what it should be called. <laughs> so Jed Walters the best gonna bloke win. Who didn't get suspended? <laughs> Jed Walters gonna win. Ah, oh, I just give Jed Walters the Jed Walters Award every week yeah. for being Jed Walters. <laughs> but it's also like no one's. Uh, this has always been the, a part of the rising star. And just it's because it's not no the brown though, it's so dumb. Who what cares? are we doing here? But it's like, who cares at the end of the day? Yeah, I don't really. Name me, no, but what name if me... a guy like King hit someone, and then he was the best? What if Harley Reid randomly? I know he wouldn't. He's, he seems like a nice guy. What if someone randomly hit someone? I don't where's, know. The, where's the mark of suspension I don't know, here? I, don't know. The, I think it's the line fair of that demarcation they once again. Yeah, yeah, Harley Reid. Yeah, Harley you know Reid had I mean? a bit of a look in his eyes. He wanted to punch <laughs> an umpire at one point. Well, I liked it. He was just there's a bit of fire in him. That's because he was getting. But it's also like, who cares? I also think. Look, to be honest. I think Brownlow is very specific. Like, you think about your club championships, yep. stuff like that. Do you get n not a chance of winning your club championship if you've been suspended? No, right? So Luke Parker's not winning the Swans one. <laughs> Surprise, Chris. <laughs> <Yeah, he hasn't laughs> you're either the best young player or you're not. That's the rising star. It's simple right, as you that. make it a fair. But in 20 years, if ha when Harley Reid's won three Brownlows <laughs> at Carlton as well as four premierships. <laughs> Stop saying that. Yeah. That angers me is, so. is anyone going to care that he didn't win the rising star? It will be weird, I though, will. looking back. This is it. This and is the weirdest part. Of it. So you go, oh, wait, why didn't he re win the rising yeah. star? Was he not good in his first year? Oh, no. He was a generational talent. Yeah. But he had a bad tackle that he was rubbed out for two weeks. We're like, so he didn't win the rising star? I'm trying Fix to, it, you gumboots. I'm trying to think it's not hard. I'm going back to NBA again. Is there a... Is there a Thing in NBA, if you get too many suspensions, no. you can't win an award. No, there's not. No. Okay. Just All you it. have is literally like games played now. That's yeah. like their mark. Yeah, I know that one. Simple yeah. as that. So yeah. if you yeah. obviously if you dream on green, you start punching big European but dudes he could in still the face, win an stomping on their chest, or whatever. Mm. Like he could still go and win defensive player of the year. Okay. As long as he plays 65 games. Yeah, so yeah. I just I don't think it's I don't care. I don't I mind. Do. I, don't mind I want my history books to be accurate, you see. I want Harley yes. Reid. Yes, Harley Reid up there. How many in the history books like Lewis Taylor? Many history books. You go to the MCC library all the time. Many leather bound. Tomes. <laughs> nice. And his house doesn't smell like rich mahogany. That's it's it. just like this weed. That's the type old of spice. Oh, no. <laughs> That's actually my beard oil. Uh, <laughs> let's do some game wraps. Hey, how good was Thursday night? I can't remember. Port Adelaide Power 71, <laughs> Carlton 107. Actually, to sort of focus in. Yes. How good was Thursday night? Most of it sucked. And then <laughs> the fourth quarter game, happened yeah. and Patrick Cripps went, all right, boys, jump on my back. Yeah, yeah. And like produce five and a half of the best minutes of football mm. you'll Literally ever see kick two goals at a goal, One uh, the goal assist, yeah. and then there was an amazing hardball get in the halfback yep. uh, flank that basically saved their bacon again. It was awesome, and you're like that helped stem the tide of like tit for tat, goal for goal. Yeah. That was this entire game, and Cripps just went goal, goal, goal assist, save at the back. And that basically it gave them enough of a buffer that they didn't mm. just panic. It felt is, like know, that quarter goals. went for like. 10 minutes, but it was only three minutes of game time because everything was happening it so was, it, Yeah, it was crazy. It was ridiculous. It was nuts. There was a moment in the NBA actually over the weekend where Kevin Harlan, it was absolute chaos ball, and Kevin Harlan called every second of it and, like, no AFL commentator is up for it. But there were different moments in that game where it's like, that because you can do the switch. So, yeah, yeah. It was so You quick, can do the switch yeah. in AFL. So they were like, I need to take a breath. Yeah. Go to go you, Stats Boy. Yeah, 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 and away yeah. they went. And that was that perfect sort of a summation of that one on, Friday, on Thursday. Because cool, so much was happening, yeah. But Fraud Adelaide. Mm -hmm. The forward line stinks. 
No mm. Willie Rioli. Yeah. Charlie Dixon. Just Charlie Dixon. Bad. He's been doing the, probably the last two or three years. He it, he's a he definitely is in that fraud Adelaide. When he gets a little bit angry or he has a good defender on him, he throws the toys out of the cot. He gets angry. He has a cry to the arms. He tries to start fights. I can't stand him. He uh, had one possession. Yeah. he is cooked. Yeah, yeah. but he, it's because he gets angry and oh, he just gets. Too I don't care. He's cooked. Miss Jordiades was really, 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 really good. Yes, but you can't rely. Handy. But if you're Port Adelaide, he's not going to do that every week. Todd Marshall was good the week before, and then he, he yeah, he's Same. only good against the That's lower it. team sometimes. Yeah. Uh, the sort of balance of the <clears throat> Carlton forward line with Zach Williams sort of being up and about up there as well is weird. I love it. It's great. There was a couple of weird sort of shots at goal that they had that they missed, but outside of that, Carlton were really, really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> so I enjoyed that a lot. But what about Port Adelaide's defense? Like we talked about Essendon in preseason, like too many dudes. Did Port do the Essendon and stack their defense with just some dudes and not anyone who's any good? Well, like, Radigalia and uh, was Radigal- pretty good for a lot. It was of okay, it. but him and him and Alir looked a bit like tired, even in the first half. Where they're trying to keep up with the athletic, uh, but Radigal is like made yeah. his life as a ruckman, and now he's turned defender. And Zach no, Thatcher he was, was a just he Zach was a Thatcher was just a dude. So it's like, yeah, eh. Dude, they've just stacked up their defense, and they're just leaking it's points not against good though, teams. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Either way, and Ken Hinckley called them mid, which was absolutely Pretty hilarious. Good. The other one, like, oh, we're mid. We said about their forward line, but Carlton got twenty six intercepts, which is like That's way cool. higher than the average. Well, this is the combination. Yeah. So that you think about the Carlton back line now Poor with uh, Brody Kemp. Mm. With McGovern, with Saad, yeah. with Weeders. Like when they're, now, when they're yeah. actually healthy, they mm. look awesome. Mm. So yep. you've got Fogarty uh, sort of going forward these times, sort of popping up here and there. Uh, but Zach Williams kicking three more goals. Loved every second of that. Harry Mackay had a couple of big moments. Charlie had a couple of big moments. And the big one, obviously, Paddy Cripps at the end. Yeah. Like Sam Walsh had 30 touches, was really, really good in this one. Like actually used it not too bad after I think I might have messaged these two morons. <laughs> Saying once you watch a Sam Walsh inside fifty and mm. you notice it every time that he butchers it, he had two really good ones. You're like, hey, yeah. but yeah, <laughs> I it changed the a lot of the time. History. It's contested sometimes, and he's, but he does just throw it on the. But bench. at the same time, if you've got the ball, get you're in there. a better position than the team without the ball yeah. usually. I TDK think, going solo as well. I think someone put that. That in. was me. Yeah, he okay. he was all, 140 super coach as well. Tom DeConing, him is solo a is so good. And like yeah. this has been the biggest thing from. Carlton fans, like, oh, you but it. you got to win the clearances, and it's like, I don't know. When you've got decoding up there, you've basically got an yeah. extra midfielder and he's a weapon. So, yep. I don't know. Good win for the Blues. Happy days there. 107 71. You'll take that every day of the week. Friday. I, you didn't even touch on it. Carlton actually put a team to the sword for once and ran away true. with the game rather than going, really oh, got, God, oh, we're just holding we have on. To, yeah, we have to be under a goal. That's well, true. How did that happen? Patrick Cripps. Uh, Patrick yeah. Cripps was the difference. So, Harry, yeah. uh, just a coning, seven and four, just Pitney, one oh, and yes. five, both rucks, nine and ten. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. it was just leave Patrick Cripps' fourth quarter zone. basically set that up that they could run away with it, and, and then you basically like, yeah. felt content probably with ten minutes to go, which has happened maybe once this yep. season. Yep, good job, Blues. Well done, Blues. <laughs> deserved to be in the top four over. Uh, oh, over no, Port for, Adelaide, three, I think. for three nights they deserved it. <laughs> yeah. Friday, Collingwood Bulldogs, 82 to 100 on Friday. This was a fascinating game with Collingwood missing a whole bunch of dudes, uh, and you could really tell by the end. Yep, because they sort of just ran out of class. It's like you can try, mm. you can have heart, you can have grit, you can have determination, you have gumption. You can have gumption. gumption I love the that word. Yeah, gumption. Yeah. The gumption only gets you so far. <laughs> and uh, the dogs. I thought their poise in the back half of that fourth quarter was pretty impressive. Yeah. So great job, yeah, Bailey Dale. Dale. Bailey Dale. Love, Dale love watching it. him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, who wants to take the lead on this one? Oh, I'm happy to do the, the start of this one. Collingwood were on fire. There was four 50-meter penalties in the first four minutes. I don't know if you guys saw that. That was really weird. There was just uh, Sam well, Darcy lost the point. He was Darcy on there. Sam Darcy gave away two. Yeah, he gave away two. He was very chaotic. Obviously, we talked about he's ineligible for the Rising Star now. I didn't mind seeing it on Maynard. Maynard's fine, so that's It was right, but, very funny but, seeing Collingwood yeah. fans cry foul on the internet. It's like, ah, yeah. <laughs> ah, you're throwing a stone in a glass house. It's pretty funny. Yeah, and then the best part of this game, I think, though, was Bont versus Nick Dacos. You got Bont, uh, 38 disposals, two goals, nine tackles. Then you got Nick Dacos, 32 disposals, two goals, 27 contested, which is the most uh, ever contested possessions for a player by in Collingwood, Collingwood history. So awesome effort by... Nick Dacos, awesome for super coach as well. A lot of people have them for uh, vice captains. They did. Mm. Wasn't your mate Jim? No, no, not you. <laughs> but it, once again, it showed with all these injuries that Collingwood had got when they were going forward in the last quarter. And like, why is Oleg? Oh God, it's Oleg on Liam Jones. This is not good. It, mm. Then dogs because of the like injuries, they're not going to have Sam Darcy. They're not going to have Harms, Richards, and Norton already at 
I'm a bit yeah, worried about them next they week. Lost I think they, last, play... they lost last yeah. week. They won this week. They'll so lose next week. Yeah, yeah, they are 500. It's the Bulldogs experience. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jamara Yugo Hagen had a couple of big moments where yep. you're like, ooh, you're just... threatening to tear it apart and then just never did. He's going to kick eight one game this season. We'll be like, ah, told ah, you. We told but sometimes you. He, doesn't, he does a lot more than kicking the goal. He does yeah. move up the ground and set up a few goals. Yeah. So. I'd also like to thank Adam Trelaw for having 37 touches against his old team. I know. He, Absolutely he called like, that the other day. That was awesome. 11 clearances as well. It's so good. He was awesome. Uh, just, it's the same old story. It feels like with the dogs, they can win a game like this where Collingwood have what everyone eight, out eight of yeah. their best twenty-two they missing or something. But then Brisbane will come here next week and pump them because <laughs> because why not? It's the Bulldogs. Well, it's, it's a fascinating it, game. Brisbane are good at Marvel as well. Yeah. Well, and then you had Collingwood sort of had their chance <laughs> and just sort of let it get away they're, from them. They are they're holding on just. It's like that. Mrs. Pommel Horse, I'd <laughs> yeah. like to get down. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's Collingwood at the moment. They're like, yeah. oh, we we need they they've got a ten day break into this demons game on King's birthday. That game all of a sudden has become even bigger than what it was mm. just as a standalone day. It's like, oh, this could almost kill off a team for the yeah, year. Yeah, not wrong. Schultz finally did something as well. Yeah, got he three, goals, three goals, fourteen disposals. Uh, that's the first. He was playing out of full forward a bit because their whole forward line at one point was six small forwards. Like yeah. McCreary was the tallest. That's like it was ridiculous. So thirty-one points uh, to one in the fourth quarter. That tells a big story. Yeah, of just like yeah, we are cooked and we don't have any dudes. So. Yeah, yep. tough one for the pies. They're still quality, I think, as long as they get their dudes back. Someone yep. told me that oh, they're certain used to finish top two. I was like, oh, that's top a, two. That's no, a, hey, they'll be aiming cool. for what top six? Maybe? No, I reckon they'll just be aiming to for get the in the eight. finals, and then and they're fine they, after they, that. They yeah. just hope they play a Melbourne team in the first yeah. week and back themselves top in. Top two. They've already got four losses exactly. and two draws. Two draws. Two draws. Exactly. Like, there's not enough games for them to finish One of those top two. I think draws. They probably should have lost. Yeah. Either way, Saturday the Hawks <laughs> smash the. Oh, to quickly reverse it for the. Raps that we usually do, big mm -hmm. things to come out of this if you're a fan of each team. If you're oh, a fan yeah. of the oh, Pies, you're like, let's that, yeah. get healthy. Yep. Dogs, you're like, at least we got to win. We got to win. Hooray. Yeah. <laughs> and for the Blues, it's like, oh, we actually put away a team. But Porter, like, oh, God. Yeah, maybe we are it's a, frauds. It's a weird one being fourth and not confident but it, with your team. Well, that's the thing with Port, though. It's they win games, but they're not good. Yep. No. <laughs> Saturday, Hawthorne smashed Adelaide. What the 107 hell? 80. Jim, that's not a, sma not a smashing. It was a smashing. It was they a were smashing. getting smashed yeah. all game. Never looked like losing. Uh, Hawks, seven goals to two in the first half. They put them to the sword very early and then just never let them really get back into there it. There was one moment late in the third quarter and that was about it. Yep, and they were fine. So Moore was absolutely incredible. He had five goals, wasn't he? Yeah. Five goals, 27 to spell. I'll get into that as well later. He was bloody awesome. They also dominated the clearances of the Hawks. They, they're they just awesome. All these young guys stepping up, to play in a role. And like some of these guys you go, I think at the start of the year, we, we looked at their list and go, oh, not sure about the list. But all these guys are just stepping up. Yeah. It's almost like having young, fast, skillful dudes in the midfield is a better choice than picking three Old, of the yeah. exact same dudes yeah. like Matthew Nix does. Yeah. I said yeah. before the season, Old they are bay, yeah. except for you. You had them top four. You were wrong. Me oh, and Jim, I know that, yeah. Jim and I were right going, uh, Tex won't kick 76 goals this year. No. His back is cooked. He looks gone. Uh, Matt Crouch is injured, but Laird in there was doing nothing. Dawson was cooked pre-game. They had no rank, and it's like, Oh, we're screwed. Yeah. Mm. Saligo and Shola are awesome. Like they're yeah. the two sort of under underserved like guns Especially of that midfield, Saligo, right? Yeah. They do all the heavy lifting. And oh, Shola's on the wing on the outside a bit, but Saligo's like in and under. But into, like, into, yeah. So hot, heavy lifting. I, know I don't sort of mean like, like oh, they, actually in the nuts and guts of but they are the affected the game. They're, they're like the, the playmakers almost. Yeah, fair, right? Fair. Is what I'm trying to say. Fair. And they're the guys who sort of get them moving and doing cool stuff. Yeah. Yep. If I'm and, Matthew uh, Nix, I'm not picking Matt Crouch again when he's back healthy. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah. I'm just not. You just hate Matt Crouch. No, but it's not. But I love Matt Crouch's it. record waste. when he's been in the team. Yeah, they not. are going at like 25% wins. Yeah, so yeah. it's really bad. They haven't won at the MCG since 2017 either. They yeah. haven't got another game there for the rest of the year. So it's going to go to they 2025. They had so many close losses. So that's why I tipped them. And then, yeah. I tipped them again. as well. I, I, I had some belief <laughs> that they'd do something. And this is just me going, yes, Because they sting. only just lost to Collingwood there. And then they can't even get close to the But that, does that also not lie into where Collingwood, where Collingwood are at the moment with the Western Bulldogs result? Also, why did CJ decide to headbutt someone? <laughs> well, he got weird. sucked in. He got uh, sort of like choked or but, bumped and stuff. And then he just got bang. <laughs> that's going to be at least a week, I think. That was just dumb. Speaking of dumb, Jack Ginevan burning teammates going into inside 50. Oh, Had two options, possibly three options, decided to go for goal, missed it, and everyone's like, ah, oh, that felt like a moment because 30 seconds later, Adelaide kicked a oh. goal. It's like, ah. Oh. At least they won easy. Yeah, but then Ginevan kicked that goal on the siren and Will Day just Actually, went over and punched him. That was him. the other thing about Ginevan. After the game, apparently he's like, we're going for the finals. And then 
like lots of people in the crowd apparently laughed. I had some our Hawthorne friends up there. Everyone laughed. And they're like. Why are you laughing? There's a sneaky chance that they can, no, they can make no, it. No. And again, if it wasn't joking, I don't this think This was so. one of the year yeah. now, I was thinking, last yeah. week. Yeah. Last week, I said definitely right? not, so but maybe a chance. a sneaky chance. Yeah. Sneaky. Uh, outside of this, I think, what was it, like five or six of the top ball getters in this game were Adelaide players. And you're like, that tells a story as well. Mm. It's Yeah, well, I think it was at one point, Matt Crouch and Laird together had gone for 300 metres gained and like Warple or Impey had had like 500 metres gained themselves. It's yep. like, oh, yeah. But the Hawks are awesome <laughs> when they play games like this, when they play at the G. Like, we saw them get smashed by Sydney. They've been great since. And it's like literally since that moment, I think. They've been They've just awesome. been awesome. Yeah. So great really job by the Hawks. Watch. Adelaide, just don't play in Melbourne. So what are we taking out of this? Hawthorne fans. If you're a fan of Hawthorne, you're like, we might make the finals maybe if everything breaks right and we keep up playing this well. I yeah. don't know. Maybe we're a chance. Because as they get healthier, they're, they're getting better and better and better. Yeah. Uh, the... Big thing for Adelaide. If you're an Adelaide fan, you're like, well, this is another cook season. What are it's we doing? It's just gone around in circles. It's, yep. it's almost exactly the same but as it, last year. But it was the same as last year. It was yeah. like they lost a lot of close games that they probably should have yeah. won. I thought but, that was, that's what I thought they were going to improve. But it was that, a lot of their older dudes had played so well, they had to regress yeah. because they're not they're picking these young players. Anymore. And you look at their recruitment. Like they got lucky that Dawson and Rankin wanted to come home. Mm. Yeah. Their recruitment's not been great for a decade. Fogarty just sort of always went more out of yeah. him. Chris in, especially Berg, in a game like this. Chris you know, Burgess like, is just like, just build me in a <laughs> dude. And it's just, ah, oh, it's Chris Burgess. Cool. <laughs> no no one's, yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah. yeah firing, did, we, firing. did we ever fire up AFL 2023? Did you buy that or not? <laughs> Definitely not. It's the uh, worst game. I've what happened to AFL 24? Like, it's like build your own player. It's Chris Burgess. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, build your own good player. Good looking dude. Built. Just a dude. But if no we get Jed sponsored Walter, by it, yeah. Either way, uh, yeah, sponsor us. We'll play it. Right now. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, so, yeah, Hawks fans, you'd be flying. Crows fans, in a battle of the birds, you've been just taken Pecked. out of the air and just <laughs> pecked. pecked to death. <laughs> bah, bah. Out west, west coast, lost to the Saints. Oh. Oh. Whoa, no, Harley Reid. <laughs> oh, no, Harley Reid. This would be a painful one for West Coast supporters because this is one you go and thinking, we're going to win this, mm. and you've lost. Well, we said Waterman and Cali. That is huge So outs. the J train goes out just before the game. He's like a three-goal difference. Cali as well. Yeah. It's like mm. absolutely brutal gear. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you get that on the big job sometimes. St Kilda, like, just eventually sort of got them – Ugly uh, footy as usual. Wore them down. Oh, I can't really stand watching Snake. Wore them down is the perfect idea for this because, like, <clears throat> the I remember the yeah I saw the snake the other day, and it's like West Coast we're feeling great. Oh God, <laughs> and it just plummets off a cliff. Yeah, slowly. Yeah. It was quickly. And sorry, then there's yeah. the uh, yeah the Harley Reid stuff ends the, up as the dagger, which I'll talk about in a second. But also but, the by the choice by Ross to go like, win Tiger, go just stop this kid. Well, he had 17 It'll disposal half time, and then ended on 20. Since he yeah. got tagged. And he's probably looking at the table. Like, oh, crap. I forgot I was really good. I'm going to get tagged every week. He's going to get tagged every week now. Nah. Week, I reckon, because he hasn't properly been tagged. You tag him. West Coast were winning before he got tagged. So I reckon he'll get also, tagged Also, it's in that, you know, Tim Kelly wasn't there in the midfield to help him out. Yo was still working back mm. into some fitness. He looked all right in patches, but it was just... One patches, of those patches is a very, very good idea for Yo. Yo! And then you're like, oh, that wasn't great. Yeah. Yo! That was pretty good. Ooh, watch out. Uh, outside of this game, though, like, if you're a fan of the Eagles and you look at this guy, we, we didn't have Tim Kelly. We didn't have the J train. Still be semi happy. They with probably sh- would have won with them. They're also like, further ahead than what sort of everyone thought they would oh, be yeah. at this stage of the year. Like, if, if you said it the, exactly. to the West Coast at the start of the season, like, at the halfway point of the year, you, you would have won three games. You would have smashed Melbourne. Been competitive in about three or four others. Yeah. Led, you know, led a couple of games at half time, and you're going to go into a game as favorite. Yeah, like, yeah. We'll take, we'll take I dream, that. We'll I dream of going into a game as favorite. No. It'll yeah. happen <laughs> in two to three years, Stats Boy. It's going to be fun. No, fine. maybe if Richmond keep up these injuries in round 21, maybe. we might be favorite. Uh, but Mason would kick for. Yeah, like Good. that's the type. He was great. It's the yeah. exact sort of game, right? And like, if you're a Saints fan, you look at this game and go, "God, thank you so much. Thank you, thank so you, Mason. We <laughs> just needed to win Still a game." Still was great. It's basically, our coworkers, Mark and Tom, just not Saints copying fans, it this week yeah. from us. Yeah. yeah, and it was like. It wasn't a good game. It was a bad game. The first half was actually fun, I thought, but then the second because half was Because West Coast was down, that good, and then yeah, St. Yeah. Kilda went, we're going to make this a Saints game. Yeah. Like, don't do that. Ross. <laughs> they don't Ross. It. Damn it, Ross. What are you doing? <laughs> but that, that's how they win games. So that was uh, not as much fun. But either way, St. Kilda get the win on the board. Eagles. Look, St. Kilda so stay in 15th. All right. Woo! <laughs> Saturday night. It's all right for fighting. Geelong, 99. The Tigers, 69. Nice. Uh, <laughs> solid... 
Tiger's effort, again, gallant in defeat. Yep. Honourable The loss. weirdest part was, like, this felt over halfway through the fourth quarter, and you're like, it's, like, 18 points. Yeah. Mm. Like, this is weird. Geelong are like, you're not winning. Yeah. Just go away. <laughs> you wouldn't tell the cops now, would you, mate? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, mate? And you're like, Geelong, just settle down. Leave <laughs> hey, 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 hey. And the Tigers are like, oh, yeah, they're right. We don't have any dudes left. This sucks. And, like, it was incredible watching that game going, oh, my God, a Geelong – like actually legitimate frauds at this point of the season as they were losing they are, this yeah. game for yeah. big swathes of it. Yes. First half, that was, was shocking. Yeah. Huge contingent of Tigers fans down there at Taxpayer Stadium, Jimmy Match BA. <laughs> like, this was incredible. And it felt like they could win. But then there was a moment you like towards the back half of that third quarter, you're like, oh, I reckon they're running out of gas. Yeah. And then it just completely they, It's like it. if they had a Tom Lynch and Shy Bolton both playing, it's like, yeah, they'd probably do enough to win that. But oh uh, yeah, definitely Tom Lynch, yeah. Yeah, yeah but even know. Shy Bolton adding just those two just players a few, in bit more experience, different yeah. positions. But this I think, first of all, Richmond, great. Again, showing effort with like literally twenty four fit players. I and know. they're still gonna manage to rest Dusty next week, so which many is young hilarious. Guys that team. But this is a concern for Geelong. They look slow, mm. but they they looked like that the last. Even when they were in the in that uh, grand final year, they were never no, like a fast. No, pace. they didn't. They looked yeah. bloody that, quick yeah. at the MCG. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they looked slow. Other than that, they yeah. looked slow because it was a yeah. cold, wet, miserable, long <laughs> yeah. night. But where it's, it was raining for like but half the game. You'd expect them to be running through this Richmond team, yeah, just yeah. cutting them open, and they weren't up for it for most of the game. But I think that's kind of what Richmond do to teams, though, isn't it? They sort of just gum it up and just sort of go... Like, they did it kind of to Essendon Against two weeks Essendon, ago. Yeah, yeah. And but like, that's, but that's Essendon, though. Like, Essendon haven't been great despite winning. They've, they've know, been hardly like convincing. Max, like, it was more about... This game was more about just controlling it by the time they sort of got a handle of the game for Geelong, right? Mm. Yeah, and Max Holmes playing, like, one of the best games of his He's life. He's been great all year. I, I might sneak him back into my uh, like, Australia. And, like, the fact that their forward line sort of had these little fits and spurts, like Tyson Stengel doing something. Dempsey Tom was Hall amazing. Can, Dempsey Three goals. Unreal game. 27 oh, again, disposals. He's a weapon. He's like, oh, can I possibly late charge for the Rising Star? Uh, <laughs> Mitch not. Duncan also was, like, pretty handy. And, like, Tanner Brun. Yeah, I was about to say, like, say, Those sort of middle dudes, right? Tanner Brun. Yeah, so he's been great. Yep. Whereas like the Tigers just don't have those sort of guys and they sort of just rested control from the game. So it mm. wasn't so much of a concern that they weren't fast. It's like, just we're bigger and better than you. Get I, out of here. Yeah, I'm not going to be shocked next week because Geelong playing the Swans. If they're they, going to get killed by Yeah, somebody. I was going to say, Geelong could get seriously yeah, the way they're playing by them. If they bring that sort of what I look to be slow, Heaney, Errol and Warner's going, ha, that's cute. The toughest one for me was uh, one of their many Ollies. Yes. This one was Henry, okay. uh, late a sub from memory, wasn't yeah. he? Ollie Henry, and yes, didn't he was. look like he was getting anywhere near it. You yeah. had uh, Jezza had the one goal, but was like much more involved up. The yeah, he field, moves up the ground, very cool. which is good. Yeah, uh, it was a weird, strange game. I think for Geelong, just almost like they'd sort of gone into this game with like the wrong approach and like not scouted Richmond. They're like, <laughs> we're going to win that. What are you talking about? Yeah, no, right, yeah. Yeah, it was Richmond. Nice. <laughs> yeah. And then it's they, like they'd forgotten a win in the last month. Yeah. That's it. So anyway, look, if you're a Geelong fan, I think you look at that and go, we did what we needed to do. We need to be better. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a Geelong stat for you. Actually, oh, guys. the stats Let's go. Stats. I've actually Back. got for, for once. So Geelong's last 16 games, yep. they're 9-1 and one when ne- none of their players reach 30 disposals. Okay. And they're 0-6 when one of their players reaches 30-plus disposals. I have an idea. So uh, next week, know. Sydney, don't let anyone get 30-plus disposals. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> you, you said, you said no. So it's the Swans. John Lamar's going to go, James Jordan, no, tag. We're going to do a Max Holmes. Just give him the yeah, football. Let him have 30 touches because yep. Geelong will lose. Well, he's yeah, the been reverse like, tag. He's, the been, reverse the, he's tag. been the only reverse one to get 30 go. disposals this year, like multiple times, and every time he has got it, they lose. So, so it's, let and they Max all got, home get 30 touches. Yeah. There was three guys that got – or sorry, five guys that got 27, 28, 29, 29, 29. They just never get 30 and they win. So. Either way, they lost funny four, four games straight, right? Yes. And mm. so they were pretty lucky, I think, that it wasn't five for a bit there, but then yep. they suited themselves. And then Tigers – Gallant in defeat. As a friend yeah. of mine said, what the bloody hell happened in the offseason for us to deserve all these ACLs? I was like, you won three flags, shut up. Yeah, yeah you still be happy. Pay the price. As a, yeah. as a fan. Sunday, what happened to Melbourne? No one knows, oh but it was gross. God. Did they turn up? Nah. This was very cool. This was at the, uh, was it Traeger Park, TIO. Yeah, we were talking TIO about that. Two. 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 They couldn't even yeah, get over Traeger one. Park. Um, <laughs> Alice Springs, fantastic vibes. I love the sprinkling into this camera angle once around. It's the Ballarat camera angle. Oh, the, it's a bit lower. Alice Springs, yeah. is, it's VFL level. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's awesome. You're like, you can see just the hits. I was going to say, you can see, see the ball. You don't, you don't know where <laughs> yeah. the ball is going. You don't know who's off the camera, 
But it's awesome. You can feel the footy. Can oh, you feel funny. it? Feel the footy. Melbourne couldn't feel the footy. Melbourne definitely didn't they feel the footy because they lost yeah. by 98 points. No, 92, 92 points. Upside down. It was a lot either way. 49 to 141. The Dockers are fantastic. Jaya miss. Uh, Tracy. Didn't miss. Tracy was incredible. Mm-hmm. Sam um, Switowski. <laughs> Mike Switowski. <laughs> yeah. I like that. That's a great he was everywhere. Mike it was, Switowski. I don't know, just like a vibe of like even Sarong. And like Sarong and Brayshaw early mm. going were dominant. First half, they just. And then Melbourne Dominated. sort of just went, oh, we're done here. This sucks. Yeah. I don't like playing here. Side note for Stats Guy, it wasn't greasy. It was 18 degrees. No, it wasn't. And the humidity I, I saw that, yeah. was less there than it was in Melbourne today. Yeah, so nice. Melbourne should be, that's our normal conditions. They should have they yeah. been all right. Yeah. Nice. So I think Frio just, also did well to win this game, you know, flying all that way with no business class seats. <laughs> yeah, I, did, I, saw I saw that. that. <laughs> Shut up. Like. No, no, no. But that's that's that was one of the Scots going, Freo have an advantage because they fly business class. Oh, shut up. Who, who, was it Chris Scott said that? Yeah. Oh, or Brad Scott, one of them. One of them. That Amazing. is. Amazing. Shut up. Uh, so a misfit ends up with four goals. Walters had three as well as Tracy with three. And Luke Jackson popping off for three too. Jordan Sam Clark, Darcy keeps a goal for goal. Jordan so. Clark is a, another sneaky old Australian. He's, he's been averaging over sneaky. 20 cents. He's in my team. Oh, he's in your team. There you go. Yeah, He's awesome. on the on the border. Line Check out team. our TikTok uh, first. Yeah, I think get, Stats Guy's there. Mine's I'm up getting there. roasted on TikTok. I'll probably do mine next week. Yeah. <laughs> Jim's also going to do the awesome dudes list. Yeah. And I've got the handsome 23. Nice. I've got nothing. I've got, yeah. The, the <laughs> captain is undisputed. He's not a captain, but. I think we could do an all Australian short kings of stats board. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually happy to do that. Yes. I'm happy to do that. Nick so Watson is our full forward. The Wizards full forward. That'd be great. I'm happy but, to do so, that. That'd be fun. Back to this game. So the D's were soft. I don't oh, like yeah. labeling teams soft, but you lose the clearances Obviously, by 25, yeah. <laughs> contested footy by 30, and the inside 50s by 31. But it was just they did not want to go near it. In letting the hammered. likes of James Harms and James Jordan leave. Bit of tough, few tough nuts. It's yeah. like they've got, fu- they've probably got like eighty percent less tattoos now. James Rude. Jordan doesn't even have a tattoo. I know. I mean, <laughs> it's all arms. It's like, like, what are we doing? Arms Nathan, are sixty-two. Yeah. Nathan Jones retiring. Nathan yeah, Jones yeah, the is toe gone. Ball, yeah. It's just brutal. <laughs> what are they doing? Yeah. So the you're saying thing. they should get more tattoos? With more tattoos. Ben Brown hard. needs some. Actually, Ben Brown probably has a tattoo. Leg sleeve. Was this the worst performance of a team this season? I mean, considering like, well, we ha- haven't even lost by ninety-two North. The like, team that was in the top, uh, yeah. that was in the top eight. Yes. Yeah, considering probably. how highly we think of Melbourne. Yeah, Carlton, well, got, actually, Carlton got smashed by Sydney three weeks ago. That was forget. fifty points. Yeah, and let, you jumped it out. It wasn't even that close. Though, but you right, jumped so. out and kicked the first five goals. The D's this played is good for five minutes. Yeah, this is the worst performance. I'll agree with that. Of a top eight team. Yeah. That is a really good question. But also, so we talk about the mid-season. Port in the showdown was pretty bad. Oh, yeah. But that's a showdown. They lost to Adelaide who were 4-7-1. Mm. You know? Yeah. And they got killed this in that one. 92 points. We this even, was. This was 90 Frio, points. Frio, like, kicking that sort of score on you is just embarrassment. But they don't even it's, have a forward line. Like, exactly. it's okay. But So we talked about the mid-season trade period like a week or two ago and we were yelling about it. What would the Demons give up to get... One of the Kings in. Yeah. Go with the St. Kilda ones. The Gold Coast Max, one isn't Max, Well, yeah. Max isn't going very well. Yeah. But, yeah. And, but, or Nick Larky up for. Oh, shut up. Take that out of your mouth. <laughs> Get him. your name <laughs> out of here. Get, <laughs> Get his name out of boy. I'm not happy. But Get the Suva <laughs> out of your mouth. Bang. You can take any other player. Don't take the Suva. <laughs> Why? The ball's not getting to him. Look at your uh, percentage. He but like, what kind good. of, what would they give up other than everything? Oh, no, they. They, that's all they need. They have an awesome midfield, awesome back line. Yeah. But they put up 140 points. Maybe they're like Tracy's the next is, forward. This is yeah. also what happens to them where they don't have Rue playing, right? But so they don't Van have a Ryan, forward line. Van Royen doesn't play. And they all, like it, there's a horrifying yeah. correlation, I think, that him just as a target, they get absolutely smashed. And it's like look, one, for, like one, one forward, forward should yeah. have absolutely no impact like that, but he does. Bailey Fritch went absolutely MIA in this. Um, you also just had, like I don't know, a gross smashing in terms of Salem was handy, yeah. fine. Good for super Truck is body. fine. Viney, mm. fine. But just it's that middle nuts and guts. Yeah. Petrarca of... was off the whole first half. He, he Petrarca a... couldn't hit a target. Nah, yeah, nah. Clary, Clary had 19 touches. It's like, yeah, this team might be yeah, do more than that, yeah. a worry the rest of the way. But mm. it's like you look at their scoring, they've hit 100 twice. Yep. Yeah, that's not you need. Yeah, to we be, broke it down. Yeah. Like, yeah. literally, I think on the Thursday show, wasn't it? Where we were oh, like, I think yeah. I said that. I oh, said, so other yeah, than Kil- other than St Kilda, their last month was 74, 76, 70, 100, and forty today. Yeah, we literally rattled them yeah. all off. So, mm. and that's what it's what we talked about last year. They had one big glaring problem: forwards. Yeah, they didn't bring in forwards. No, they sink. So, if you're a Mel- Melbourne fan, I think this is the point of the year where you just go, "Count the snow." Yeah. 
They haven't beat Frio in they're four years. Because they don't Range go to the game. Rover, they're not in the game. But well, anyway, Range Rover they'll turn in the up range. for uh, Big Freeze on the, the uh, yeah. what's, it, what's it called? King's birthday. Yeah. So they'll turn up for that. But other than that, they won't be. Yeah. Not great. Also, Frio, uh, since uh, that's loss against Sydney, been really good. That horrible, horrible win against St Kilda, the draw, and then this. Mm. So they've found form. They look right very on. good. Yeah, Frio and they, they weren't even to too bad against The thing is, they've the also had like three Sydney. bad losses throughout the year yeah. where they were like super close, and you're like, oh. Port, yeah. So they lose? No, they beat Carlton, the Carlton game. Carlton. West yeah, Coast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so tough, weird ones. Anyway. So if you're a Frio. So if you're a Docker fan. We're going to make the eight. We're making the eight. Let's go. Four. If you're Melbourne. We could miss the eight we're saying that. and called it preseason. They'd miss you the did eight. say that, and I thought you were going crazy, but nice. Maybe Every not. Chance. You're not always crazy. The best game of the round, probably Gold Coast Essendon, 91 to 80. My beloved Bombers, ah, the best team in the <laughs> AFL by far. You said they were going to lose. Absolutely no holes in that team whatsoever. <laughs> They kicked 11 goals, 14 stats, boy. That's, that's a bit a of a hole. hole. Oh, that's that a is hole. a hole. It's a bit of a when hole. When you run into I can't goal. be held responsible for their shoddy kicking in front of goal now, can I? Nick Martin As one of their goal. biggest fans, that's right, <laughs> of the Essendon Bombers from Essendon, Victoria, with a storied history of final success yep. until the last 25 years. Uh, <laughs> they 25 go north. Minutes. This is the thing. We looked up, we quite specifically looked up the latitude of the Gold Coast. This is it great. is 28 degrees. They cannot, it, to be honest, there might be a correlation here as well. They can't win below 28 degrees, both geographically and, and meteorologically. There we go. <laughs> so right if it's yeah. under 28, they might not ever win. If it's up north above that, they win. So Let's they need it. to we play in Perth in like February or March to start their season. Yep. Every Gold Coast game, we've got to do latitude check, I think. Ch- latitude and temperature check. Or just, or just like, are they Greasy fight? check. How, how greasy so, it is. So greasy. <laughs> There's seven wins, two, two in Darwin, the other five, people's first. Yeah, well, they've won 11 straight now as home favourites. So just back them at home. But I think the was, last game they lost was to Collingwood in the middle of last year. That's right. Yeah, think, Chaotic yeah. game because it was back and forth, back and forth for most of it. Essendon sort <laughs> of would get game, their yeah. nose in front. Uh, Suns, well, did they get... I don't know if they ever really got in front, did they? They no, never no, got no. in front in the second half. Yeah. No. So, but they were right there. They, they were had tied up a couple of times, and like they yeah, were basically point. just trading goals. So, yes. Uh, the umpires awesome were a bit dodgy at the end. Cost both teams some umpires. Goals. Just like <laughs> completely, just had like they're like, what did, did I just black out for the last <laughs> twenty five minutes? <laughs> yeah. it's like, there was that one umpire who genuinely had a stroke in the midfield yeah. at one point. I'd rather them. He's like, I didn't w- pay that, so I can't pay <laughs> that. Oh my god! I'd rather them swallow yeah. the whistle and not pay a free kick than pay all these random ones. But, but there was got- one that was absolutely there. He didn't <laughs> yeah. pay, and there was one three seconds later that was there. He didn't pay. He's like, ah, it's an oh, even up. Even up. Yeah. <laughs> like those two fifties. He's like, ball don't lie. Uh, <laughs> ben Long kick four. Ben King kick four, uh, which probably puts him. He's on top. Or equal. Ahead of or equal. He with has been he's equal with so good. Nick Cox is really good for the bomb raise as well. He kicked three. He He's like this sort of forgotten dude. Like Langford didn't do much in this game. So Very zero goes two. Got subbed. And broke your mate Jim's heart with some betting gear. But either way, look, the Nick Cox, Langford subs out late. Two meter Peter was playing up the field anyway for most of this. Stringer had a stinker. Stringer had a shot on goal from the boundary really late that would have given them a chance and put it out on the full, I think. Yep, so. Yep. Not ideal, really. And the way that they sort of started this game, you're like, ooh, they're off to a bit of a flyer. Just can you continue that momentum? Yeah. And Essendon just didn't quite have the defensive nous and also missed a bunch of shots. They did. Goal. That was the biggest really thing. Like Nick Martin so. raced into an open goal late in the Bang. third quarter mm. and he hit the post from about 15 metres out. You got, uh, uh, we're saying about Gold Coast ball movement. They are playing like GWS Tsunami. GWS have a lot, I just thought of that. It's a title GWS, wave. GWS, that's oh, the, the title wave. What, could, what it relates to a sun? I don't know. Something that, something about uh, like a tsunami. I'm trying Solar to think. flare. Solar flare. There we go. Yeah. I don't know. I can't believe you're searching that far. Yeah. It's like, what's the thing that I comes out of this sun? I've never, said the, I've never said the word solar, solar flare flares. in my life. <laughs> you should be far more meteorologically sort of advanced. I, I, I couldn't even say that. <laughs> Apparently. Say it far to us. Meteorologically. Noah Anderson was awesome too. Yeah. Noah yeah. Anderson, At stupid sexy Flanders. Flanders. They were fantastic. All mm-hmm. of them took Miller at 28 as well. Sexton, the forgotten man, has come flying. We had 30 touches in this game. Getting back in Supercoach. Love that. Nick real. Hind, our beloved Nick Hind. He was great again. Is he Come the, on the show, Nick. We love you. Is he the funniest man in the AFL? He now? might be. He cracked it late with the. Uh, <laughs> he was the, getting into the umpire. On the, the out of bounds on the, like, uh, <laughs> the deliberate insufficient. It was intent. very unlucky. Insufficient. Yeah. Uh, what's the. Insufficient intent. Intent, intent. intent is what yes. I was trying to say. Meteorologically. Uh, <laughs> meteorologically. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Nick Hines would have just like, yeah, he wasn't happy. Threw his arms around, just laughing. He's like, what are you doing? Like, what am I meant to do? I tried to get to the dude and slid off the ground. Like, ah, oh, man. On, um, but this is a weird one where the bomb ray is sort of that next level of their guys just didn't quite do enough. Your Andy McGraths, your mm. Archie Perkins. Like, Guelphie didn't kick 70 goals like he usually does he kicked the a last month. absolute beauty from near the boundary. He did. Line. It was pretty yeah. clutch, but he didn't yeah, kick a couple. But if you are a Suns fan, you're like, great, can we play all of our games above North. 28 degrees? It doesn't have to so, even be home. Just anywhere. But just what anywhere. about Collingwood who want to sell a home game at Marvel Stadium against Gold Coast to two people's first name? You're giving up a loss there, know, Collingwood. Yeah. What, what are you, you doing? <laughs> what are they doing? Actually, I don't mind that. Please sell all of your games to the Gold Coast. If you go winless, I'm going to lie. But you know it. what? They get big crowds to uh, Collingwood. Well, anyway, Essendon but, did. There was yeah. 20, 20 odd thousand there. Yeah, no. So if you're a Suns fan, you're like, literally, this is awesome, but can we just win one away game? That's all we ask. Well, can they make the finals without winning any more? Probably. Games? Yes. They probably can. So if the they'll, 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 they'll play West Coast but at one point. Their first, most likely their first final will be if away. If we carve out just a segment each week, which is called the Jed Walters Award for winning the being the most Jed Walters, this week's winner, Jed Walters. Back to back. I've He's awesome. <laughs> there was one. Undefeated. <laughs> Undefeated. <laughs> there Champion of the Jed Walters. What if he retires? <laughs> there was one point in the last quarter where he went to smash someone, missed him, but then laid a tackle that knocked the ball out and then got the handball that led to the goal. It's like, that was Jed He's Walters. He's the definition of just guy that he crashes also, backs. <laughs> yeah, when he had the tackle that didn't get awarded with the uh, dropping of the ball, it's like he should have completely blown up yeah. and then he just got on with it. But he job. punched the ground and set off an earthquake. He's that him. awesome. Uh, if you're a Bombers <laughs> fan, you're like, we're still going to win the flag. That's fine. <laughs> well, they didn't move from second. So they're, they're, they're still second they're in the ladder because they're, they're the best that. team in the AFL. And then they play Carlton next Saturday, oh, Sunday night. Oh, they're going to win that. They're going to get two best in because they're going to win that. Don't worry about so, that. And unfortunately for Gold Coast, they run headfirst into Marvel Stadium and Ross Lyon. Oof. What do you mean, unfortunately? I reckon they win that. It's Ross Lyon. You're not tipping Gold Coast? I'm very I torn. Don't I think know. I'll tip Gold Coast. Who's nice favorite? one. All right. Gold, Gold Coast, Coast, obviously. Tips. How did we go? Don't want to talk about it. I think I got four because I had both Frio and the Hawks. Does that mean Stats Guy is your sandwich? You were back and forth nah, like I don't idiots last week. <laughs> no, nah, I think I do. I think you do owe me a sandwich. I do. There was a sandwich bet. I heard it. Yep. I listened. I'm going to make it. Uh, <laughs> Stats Boy, so you got three? I think. I need to double check that. But yeah, pretty sure three. No good at all. I tipped... Uh, who do I tip? I tipped Adelaide because every time I've tipped Adelaide this year, I had a look. They've lost. Nice one. No good. I got four. Started off with Carlton. Such a hard with week. Gold Coast. Such a hard nice week. one. Yeah. Full credit to the boys. The best team of the round of the week of the season of this week. Essendon. No, I wrote that before we actually watched the game because <laughs> I'm lost. doing. It's the bit. There's not a bit. It's just truth. Uh, <laughs> they're the best team in the comp. They still lose it. Gold Coast, but everybody loses a Gold Coast. So let me just let me cook. You <laughs> see the way that they play. It was awesome. They just needed to focus in front of goals. They would have won that game. It's really – no, anyway. Carlton's fourth quarter. That was the yep. best team of the round of the week just that I Carlton's saw. Just Carlton's fourth quarter. Seriously. It was literally it was because awesome. my awesome. entire point is we've seen them do this three times already this season. They yep. did it against GWS in the third quarter. They ran away with the game. They did it uh, in the fourth quarter against Gold Coast Suns as well two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So they have these quarters where they look like the best team in the comp, Bar Sydney probably, and Essendon, of course. Uh, so – that is the sort of thing that in the back of your mind, I, I've said this before, right? Like you always carry that with you. So, oh, this is one of those good quarters. We can win this. Yeah. Yeah. All you need in those other games is one awesome Yeah, 48, quarter. we could be fine. Yeah. It's not great that you need one quarter to blow away a team. Yep. Nah, that's and fine. if it's the fourth quarter, it's always harrowing. But yeah. uh, the way they played that fourth quarter was fantastic. Awesome. The Zach Williams goal, the Crips moments, uh, the way that everything sort of clicked and they just completely dominated. Yep. So that was awesome. That was easily the best team of the round. Carlton in the fourth quarter. Alex. I'm going Gold Coast. They beat the best team in the AFL, Essendon. So doing it at home, yes, is is an advantage because they don't lose there. But the fact that Essendon come up there breathing fire, it's probably one of the biggest games that they've ever played in because probably, this, yeah. this was the official get towards are finals. Are they decent? Are yep. you actually are they good? good? Yeah. Yep. And probably they're like, well. we are not complete frauds. We are just somewhat of a fraud. So good job, Gold Coast. That was awesome. They're running K when they just back themselves in. We didn't so even exciting. say Mac Andrew either. He was fantastic. He was great. He's been oh, great yeah. the last six weeks. Sam yeah. Collins when? kept Langford goalless. 
Love yeah, that. It's because you have the fresh, uh, fresh champagne. Fresh in the it feels yeah. weird you're not talking up Sydney in this segment. <laughs> hey, still top of the line. But they line. are good, so I'll give you that. Yeah. Stats boy. Uh, I'm going the Hawks. I think they can push for finals now. I said last week, th- thought they were going to lose. I like how you flip flops since Thursday. I, I flipped because I looked at the ladder and I didn't realize how close they're getting. Showing off their depth. You got, oh, you've got Guinea. Are you looking oh, at a few holes? Well, I was about to say, we're talking up Hawthorne. We've just seen Jack. I was literally to talk up Ginevan. He did do a dumb, dumb, one, dumb uh, little play there. But even him getting 22 disposals, two goals, three. Should have got a couple two more goals. Two weeks in a row, he's got but over 20. thinking about Collingwood, obviously got Schultz to replace Guinea. Guinea has had a much better season than Schultz, so that's a little yeah. bit of a laugh there. You hate to see it for the Pies. And then Hawks, just awesome. They've been great the last, what is it, five weeks now. So they're hmm. going to be my team of the week. Nice one. All right, best on ground of the week. Who was the best player we saw? If anyone <laughs> doesn't say Patrick Cripps, <laughs> you're a moron and a criminal. Well... Wow. Well, I already, Next already was budget. <laughs> Old mate, no, no. <laughs> hey, Look, hey, hey. Cripps was incredible, won that game off his own back, but obviously got the rest of the team involved. Yep. It was an incredible game. And it's just like, yeah, one of those ones you go, that was three Brownlow votes. We saw it happen. Mm. It's just like, just count them up. Count One, up. two, three. Uh, Alex. Sam Darcy. Oh, because he took out. I like <laughs> yeah. that. No, nah, but in all seriousness, Bont. You're just talking yeah. about seeing three votes. One, two, three. Sure. Marcus Bontempelli, 38 oh, touches, two unbelievable. goals. Unbelievable. He's like, Nick Dacos, you may be good. I think we had even talked about this last week as well, that he hasn't had like the best, like when we're actually breaking down the All-Australian teams, he hasn't had like the best season. He's been Four, solid. He has really he's high been standards. great at times. If, if I was doing my All-Australian team uh, this week after round 12, Bont would be on. in it, whereas he wasn't in it well, last Prips week. Well, and Bont weren't, weren't in it, and now I'm like, oh. Yeah, because you're a fraud, a <laughs> moron, and a criminal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not a criminal. He's from Essendon. Else. He's a fraud. Like, he, defraud, oh, he defrauds hey, news yeah, yeah, by getting yeah. paid. Whoa. He that's, gets paid. That's yeah, Stats boy, who did you have? Uh, Dylan Moore, five goals, 27 disposals. Just reminded everyone that he's probably one of. I was going to say the best half forward. He was a bit unlucky that he was injured at the start of the season, and he's been tearing it up the last three weeks. Five goals here, 27 disposals. That is the perfect game for a half forward. Nice one. Old mate, no mates. Ho ho, no early read. <laughs> oh, where, oh, where is our early read? Suspension took him away oh. from me. Here. He slung Dusty Wilson into the ground. <laughs> now, Harley Reed is nowhere to be found. <laughs> Old Mate yeah. Nomads. Well, well, old Mate Nomads. And it came with a song. I feel like uh, Old Mate Nomads is going on from that. My mate has a multi with uh, Charlie Kerno for uh, Coleman. Then he's got Isaac Kennedy to win the Brownlow. And then Harley Reid to well, win Rising cash. Star. And it was oh. it was a massive vault. It was like $50. In there, so that's that's not massive. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was a tough game. Everyone came after him at the end. He had the giveaway 50 and the free. <laughs> it was essentially the dagger uh, goal to St Kilda. Yeah. Uh, the sling tackle, obviously, on Wilson, not great. And so, yeah, he's going to cop it. And obviously, getting the tag in the second half is definitely yeah, all about no Yeah, I reckon a lot of people are going to get into him now. I think they're going to It's going to be. It's going to suck because yeah. he was awesome. And then... He's going to punch someone. He'll eventually be able to get through the tag. Exactly. Think, but Just him but being... But he's going to cop just... so much... Gr- like, this is the really best point about old mate no mates for a week, right? It's like, yeah, he's going to be old mate no mates for a week. And then we'll forget because he's suspended next week. And like and then West Coast will have their bye at some point anyway. as well. Yeah, yeah. So we won't see him for three weeks. We'll forget about him. And West then Coast like, have you've their come back, you're like, Harley Reid's still really good. He's he's awesome. touches, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Harley Reid isn't back to round 16 when they play Hawthorne. Ooh, Ooh, that's oh, a great Sam game. Mitchell's going to send, uh, what's he doing there? Finn McGuinness. Yeah. McGuinness, nice. yeah. All right, Stats Boy, old mate, no mates. Uh, Travis Boak, I mentioned this briefly the other week. He's now 0 and 10 in front of goal this year. He missed some shots. It was actually pretty close. A couple of his shots he missed. A couple on the run where you go, Okay, you're pretty t- right in front, Boke. There was a thing, actually, I didn't even talk about in the rap, but, like, Carlton were saved by a couple of inaccurate spots of uh, yeah. port in front of goal. Yeah. Boke being one of them. Boke did it as, twice. I, as yeah. he did that, yeah. I'm like, it was like the floating image of Stats guy go, he's not great in front of goal. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, his whole career, he's been that that uh, midfielder that can kick goals. He always goes, he used to go forward, take a big mark. He can't kick in front of goal. The record for most consecutive points is 19. Lewis so Jetta. I think it's Lewis Jetta. Yes, it is. It is Lewis is it Jetta. Nine? I'm pretty sure it's 19. It's like so. Sailor of the Century. <laughs> so, <laughs> Lewis Jetta. He's like Sydney guy. No, but, no, it was because yeah. when he finally kicked Lewis his Rob first, Thompson. everyone was going crazy. It was like crazy, round yeah. 17. The yeah. whole crowd knew about it. It was like, <laughs> ah! <laughs> So Boke, Storm the field. Boke, yeah. if they make finals, is on track for that. So we'll nice. see how he goes. Yeah. Oh, man, no, man. Just kick a goal, Boke. Yeah. Come on. Alex. Producer Homie, who's meant to be here <laughs> doing this show right oh. now, he went to Sydney. They copped 126 mils of rain oh, yesterday. And he was on holiday. And yeah. With his mum and his, and his partner. Oh. Unlucky, Homie. Uh, but seriously, Jack Ginevan for burning three teammates from 30 metres out. Oh, they got that, that double. When he did that, it was like, I want to be 
anywhere but here right now because <laughs> Sam Mitchell will murder me. It's a great old mate moment as well because when you get back into the sheds and you have that chat and there's like three dudes just talking over there and they all look at you <laughs> at once and you're like, oh, <laughs> I don't feel good. And then the thing is they'll highlight, like they go through the game tape on Tuesday when they go through their meeting. Like, and see at this point when Jack... They and they will probably look, laugh. They'll just look at him. Yeah, it's always been fun. Yeah. Nice. All right, why I can't stand really oh, quickly, Sooking. This yeah. has been a really fun weekend of football. Can we not sook about it for a week, mm. I feel like? Yeah. Cool. If we're not yeah. sooking about umpires and stuff like this, it's been really, really fun this week. We just need the tweaks around the edges. We're changing rules middle of the seasons all of a sudden. It feels like this week was really fun football for a lot of it. If we get some closer games, it'll be even more fun. Yep. But still, really enjoyed that. Why I can't stand people sooking, i.e. Alex, take it away. Collingwood <laughs> fans, oh, it's so unfair that we have to play home games at Marvel against teams that play at Marvel. Oh, shut up. We should never host a tenant ever again. Yeah. That's as tears l- are streaming down their face. Not as if, you know, you play a lot of away games at your home ground. I think it's 16 games at the MCG per year. You play at Marvel. You travel once every seven to eight weeks. When was the last time they played at GMHBA? It was in the 90s. Scott exactly. Penderbury's never played a GMHBA exactly. He's played stadium. 400 yeah. million games. I think Collingwood have played a game more recently at Victoria Park than they have at, let's call it, Cadinia Park for all those playing at home. So anyone who says they're hard done by and it's so unfair, just shut up and stop your sooking. Sooking. That's what it is. Take so the L's stop your sooking. and move on. Well, we do not have to toast it 10 in there. <laughs> if you're uh, good, you win anywhere. Yep. All right, Stats Boy, what can't you stand? Oh, I didn't have this written in there, but he's always in the back of my mind. Ross Lyon, just ruining, <laughs> ruining games of football. Oh, I think I've said that too many times, but yeah, just keep putting the clamps on. They obviously got the win because of the clamps, but I just hate watching games that involving St. Kilda. That's nice going to be my, my why I can't stand. All right, nice. Super Coach Wash for this week. It was yes. a weird one because Dacos obviously went massive. So did Bond uh, really early for your oh, Friday night yikes. games. And then outside of that, there were the... Noah Anderson ripped off 150 in the end, which was oh, huge, uh, which I really very much enjoyed because it might have just saved him a week. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> but outside of that, Dylan Moore, 169. He is back. His nice. break even, fun fact, was 145. Yeah, exactly. And now so. like, everyone was trading him out going, oh, he's not going to reach 145. Because he, he got plateaued it. around 525. Yeah. Everyone had brought him in and then traded him out again. Yeah. Because everyone's like, well, his price is going to rock the sky, yeah. rock it down. And then, yeah. uh, Jack Bowes. Jeremy McGovern has become a top six defender. He yeah, might be. one fair team. He's incredible. That so, was Al's pod this week, wasn't it? I like that. Uh, Had him in draft all year. Ridley backed up his 162 with 111. Ooh. So he will be your most in demand uh, trade in, but yeah. for the fact that Essendon have a buy in round Yeah, 14, get him the week after. Say, so. Yeah, so he plays next week mm. against Carlton oh, and right. then the buy. So it's like, oh. It's an interesting one. Either way, uh, and there's also what the other read. So with Harley Reid, for those who held him, obviously, as Alex up. mentioned, round mm-hmm. 16, mm-hmm. Uh, Zach Reid. So every time goes, oh, Reid. I'm like, <laughs> Zach Reid? <laughs> Who's thinking of Zach what? Reid? Me. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's well, yeah, he got injured in the VFL after everyone saying he looked really promising. He's going to come back in the side and he's injured again. Tough one. Yeah. All right. Brutal. Any other super coach vibes? Jordan Dawson, 55. He looked cooked going but into that game. He had a fitness test pre-game with a sore foot and played like it. But he's had a lot of games this year where he's gotten like under 60. He's just been really off this year. Mm. Very consistent. I think it's time to get rid of Sam Closey if you still got him. And I lost 40, by 20 points to my mate in super coach. Oh, 47 in the know. end today. Obviously with the eighteen best 18 scoring. Yeah. Uh, I think my one that rolled off might have actually been close. He's 47. Yeah. Uh, no, I had Graham with 45. I only had 18. So. I need a Graham. <laughs> I still got a good score. So. I need a Graham to play because he's going to get a mad price bump so I can get rid of him finally. Nice. nice. All right. There you go. That'll do for AFL today, for today, and for this week. That's yep. right. Round 12 is done. Yep. We're looking forward to round 13. King's birthday, long weekend. It's going to be awesome. We will have a live stream on King's birthday Monday of that huge clash. We'll be in here in the studio watching along with you, maybe with a couple of spicy kombuchas. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. We cannot wait. It is going to be an unreal weekend of footy, though. And then we do the wrap straight after it, too. So we go straight into a game. Oh, straight into a show. It's going to be just... Straight into a game. We should play a game. We should go play a game, too. (laughs) Nah, hamstring awareness. Yeah, I'm always hamstring. Like, yeah, I've honest, got a bad habit. Five-year-old squid's like, Dad, we're racing. What? Like, no, we're not. <laughs> what if your ankle you ankle tapped win. him and then just... <laughs> I have done this. I'm not going to lie. He's like running on my bank. <laughs> Don't admit to that at camera. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> he got new footy boots, though. They look awesome. Oh. I want those footy boots. Yeah, anyway. Adidas Predators? Fluoro? 
Uh, then the Nike One Piece ones, they look sick. Oh, anyway. nice. Uh, but again, thank you to Alex. Cheers, Jim. And Stats Boy. Thank you. For jumping on for a Sunday night. Always. Uh, remember to smash a like across all the socials, of course, for the AFL Today Show to see us filling in all your footy gaps throughout the week. Uh, we have the Sunday night show, the Wednesday show, and of course, Thursday team show. But in between, there is a absolute punnet ton of stuff up there on the socials. What is it? Facey, IG, Threads, TikTok, YouTube. I said IG, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. Check out uh, our all, mid year Australian teams on there. The mid year Australian teams are awesome. There, it's good and fun. I'll have mine up there as well, presumably at some point this week. Yes. Sure. I'll, I'll I'm do. sure I will. <laughs> I read it out on the show. Yeah, Come exactly. On. Yeah. Anyway, subscribe, star, and like all of our other shows on your podcast app and on YouTube as well. The Cricket Today podcast, the Football Today podcast, NBA Australia, NFL Australia. Hold all tickets, all the good stuff there. Get them, get around all of them. Like, I don't know. Let's say, ooh, how about. 1995 Carlton Premiership player who was also a vet. What? Get into that one and Google it. Who? He had a... Thank you, Mackay. He had a oh, uh, oh, very, yeah. very, very storied career as oh, well. Oh, yeah, I, did, a, I didn't know that. There you go. He's a manager after that, so... What's up, every day? All right, we'll catch you later this week, so Wednesday for the Midweek Show. For more yeah. AFL Today, until then, look after yourselves and remember, footy's back!